Is it worth it to try and become a petroleum engineer in 2021? That's the question that this video is going to try and help you answer. We're going to go over salaries, the job market, educational requirements, and quite a few reasons why it is really attractive to become a petroleum engineer, as well as reasons why you should avoid this occupation. But first, what is a petroleum engineer? Petroleum engineers are experts in oil and gas production. They are also tasked with determining the need for new tools. They oversee drilling and they offer technical advice, typically on site. Petroleum engineers also use cutting edge technology to discover new oil and gas sources. They try and do this without ruining the environment and the lives of the inhabitants in that particular area. As a petroleum engineer, you'll be working in the oil and gas industry, which can be very volatile, unfortunately. This is not the occupation for someone that wants a stable career with no layoffs. The oil and gas industry has its ups and downs. A bachelor's degree is required to become a petroleum engineer in the United States. According to the Occupational Information Network, about 72% of petroleum engineers have a bachelor's degree and about 28% have, they just say other, this could be a master's degree or above. This is a pretty competitive occupation. There's quite a few other videos on YouTube about how hard it is to get some of these petroleum engineering jobs. We'll get into that a little bit later in the video, but maybe a master's degree might help you set yourself apart from the competition. Like the other engineering fields, certain Myers-Briggs types are dominated by the people within this particular occupation. The most likely Myers-Briggs type to become a petroleum engineer is the ENTJ, also known as the commander. This is followed by the architect, the INTJ, then the thinker, INTP, and then the debater, ENTP. Notice that all four of these Myers-Briggs types are thinking over feeling. This is commonly found in pretty much every engineering field, and all four of these types are intuitive over sensing as well. If you wanna take a Myers-Briggs personality test, there's quite a few free ones out on the internet. Next up, we're gonna focus on salary and compensation. What kind of compensation can petroleum engineers expect? Right off the bat, certain countries tend to pay petroleum engineers more than others. I used data from the Economic Research Institute and I converted other currencies to the US dollar, so they're all uniform. In France, the average base salary for a petroleum engineer was around 107,000 per year. Germany, around 116,000. Canada, around 132,000. Australia, around 140,000. United Kingdom, around 144,000. And of these countries, the United States tends to pay petroleum engineers the most, with an average base salary of around 154,000 per year. So just like in many other occupations, the United States tends to pay people in this particular occupation more than other countries. Within the United States, petroleum engineering is extremely lucrative. Petroleum engineers tend to make more than all other engineering fields. And it really isn't even close. Using data from 2020, the average petroleum engineer employed in the United States earned around 154,000 per year. Number two on this list was computer hardware engineers who earn around 126. And then there's nuclear engineers and there's aerospace engineers. But there is quite a gap in pay between the average petroleum engineer and other types of engineering. I will say this though, this is partially the oil and gas industry. The oil and gas industry is a very boom and bust type of industry, but the wages can be extremely high for chemical engineers that end up working in the oil and gas industry and potentially civil engineers and other types of engineers. So for other engineers that want to boost their pay, they can always, some of them have the opportunity to work in the oil and gas industry. But back to petroleum engineers, not only do they make a lot of money, they've had pretty solid wage growth over the years. In the year 2000, the average base salary for a petroleum engineer was $79,910. This grew to about $154,330 in 2020, meaning there has been a, a wage growth for petroleum engineers of $3,543 on average Per year. So not only do petroleum engineers have a higher wage than other types of engineering, their wages tend to be growing faster than other engineers as well. Although if you do look at this chart, their wages haven't been growing as quickly since about 2013, 2014. But if you were to take this historical trend and using this average yearly wage growth number, by 2024, the average base salary for a petroleum engineer would be around 174,000 and by 2030, around 
196,000 per year. Another thing to keep in mind is people entering this field, people that major from college in petroleum engineering and immediately enter the workforce, they're not making that much more than other types of engineers. In fact, a starting salary for a petroleum engineer would probably be around the 10th percentile when looking at all petroleum engineers. The average base salary would probably be around 78,000 per year. Interestingly, at the 75th percentile, petroleum engineers at the 75th percentile earn around 190,000. So there's a lot of income inequality within petroleum engineering. In fact, the government doesn't even give us the 90th percentile because the wage is so high. Geography within the United States also plays a role in the compensation of petroleum engineers. Last year, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, New Jersey actually was found to provide the greatest base salary to petroleum engineers with an average base salary of around 184,000 per year. This is the Garden State located next to New York. Meanwhile, no surprise, Texas is number two with an average base salary of around 170,000. And then there's some other interesting states such as Florida, Colorado, and Oklahoma, where you really wouldn't think there'd be a ton of petroleum engineers, but I guess so. So as you can see, petroleum engineers can do really well financially. But one of the biggest complaints about this occupation is that it is pretty competitive. There's a lot of people that want to earn that petroleum engineering wage. How competitive is the job market? The first thing to understand about majoring in petroleum engineering and then trying to become a petroleum engineer is the workforce is tiny. There's, there's only 27,850 employed petroleum engineers based off the last survey from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So this field, this workforce is much smaller than civil engineering, industrial engineering, and mechanical engineering, which all have around 300,000 employed. One of the weaknesses of joining a small niche occupation is that job opportunities are in, tend to be in very specific places. They tend to be in hubs. It's not like nursing where there's a job right down the street from small towns in the Midwest. You have to live in very specific places if you want to be a petroleum engineer. And there is more bad news for petroleum engineers. The number of employed petroleum engineers has been falling in recent years. In the year 2000, the government recorded 10,250 employed petroleum engineers. This rose to 36,410 in 2012, and this was the peak. Since 2012, the number of employed petroleum engineers has been falling. And recently, in the year 2020, the government recorded 27,850 employed petroleum engineers, a little over 9,000 less than in 2012. Now, the employment forecast from the government isn't as bad as, say, nuclear engineering, where they're anticipating a 13% decline, or electronics engineering, which is all, also has a pretty low outlook. Uh, the government's forecasting a 3% growth in the number of employed, which is a little below average. This means that by 2030, the number of employed petroleum engineers will probably be around 29,000. And finally, just to show you how regional this occupation is, this is the data straight from the Bureau of Labor Statistics where all the employed petroleum engineers are in the United States. As you can see, the state of Texas overwhelmingly has the greatest number of petroleum engineers. No surprise, it's a big part of the Texas economy. According to the government, there were over 15,000 employed petroleum engineers in the state of Texas, the Lone Star State. Number two on this list, California doesn't even come close to the number of employed in Texas. According to the government, there's a little over 2,600 employed in California. So as you can see, this is an extremely regional occupation. So definitely go into it with your eyes open. Another way to gauge how competitive a certain occupation is, is to look at the number of job postings on different job boards. I usually use Indeed, LinkedIn, and Glassdoor to look at the number of job postings related to a particular occupation. When I searched on glassdoor.com, I found 8,637 job opportunities related to petroleum engineering. On indeed.com, there was only 498 job opportunities related to petroleum engineering. And on LinkedIn, there was only 784 job postings. Now these platforms aren't perfect. If you search for petroleum engineer in the United States, you're gonna get a lot of occupations that aren't related to petroleum engineering because maybe petroleum is somewhere in the job posting description and then the job posting comes up. I'm not gonna lie, this seems like a pretty competitive occupation. I've looked at pretty much all the engineering fields and they have a lot more job postings than this. 
And just like other engineering fields, going into and majoring in petroleum engineering and trying to become one, you don't have to particularly stay in petroleum engineering. As an engineer, you're building a transferable skill set that you could potentially use in other occupations. In fact, the software industry has been stealing engineers for years. So as you can see, there are pros and cons to becoming a petroleum engineer in 2021. This is an extremely competitive occupation. Go into this with your eyes open. If you enjoyed this occupation, definitely also check out my electrical engineering video. This is also a great occupation to look into if you're interested in engineering. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.